YouTube, Asia Persuasion here. We're here with my boy Portal. We got Team Enforcers over here. Yeah. We're here at YCS Knoxville with my boy Deuce. I'm freaking fossil. <laughs> when's the last time you were in front you know, of my camera like this bro know, it's been like two years since i've like topped an event for those of you guys who don't know <laughs> i've got ninth 33rd a lot a lot of a lot of bad things all right you've been so, on that bubble life yeah we're back all so, right yeah. that's what i'm talking what were you playing this weekend uh, i played orcus that was crazy oh snap so, yeah. i see it let's, let's, let's get in there bro so play the standard ratios um if you play more skeleton you're pretty wrong um like you just don't know how to play the deck. I'm, I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, Let him know. But this is all really good. Um, don't side any of these cards out. Shout out to Noah and Aaron. Did they all side right. those out? Oh, uh, yeah. Was that a mistake? Uh, mistake? Uh, uh, I think it's a big mistake. Yeah, I think it's a big mistake. <laughs> They're monkeys. <laughs> They're monkeys. <laughs> um, we played the best cards in the deck. I, I wish this was a joke. They're so good. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Don't play the other one. I think there's another one, but I didn't like it. Um, nor test it, nor care. Uh, <laughs> uh, we played a higher PK lineup. Uh, this was insane. So, first of all, you get the... I guess, I guess, like, the big thing is, like... So, technically, you have, like, two Garnets with one Brilliant, but you can't draw either Garnets in the combo, or, like, in your opening hand, or else the combo becomes weird. So, if you play just one and one, like, if you draw either one of these, your combo becomes so awkward. Because yeah. um, you're missing, like, an extender to put the Dingreasu in Grave. But if you play, like, more copies of them, um, first of all, the, or if you play more copies of them, then you don't lose that, like, it, I guess, advantage of, like, having those for the combo. Um, and you also just, like, get to resolve Rusty twice, like, quote-unquote. Yeah. If you don't see, like, any PK cards, so that's really good. Also, like, going second, these are just, like, straight-up extenders because of um, Brigadine. So if these get, like, discarded, they just become extenders, so it's just really good. Um, the cards that... We decided to play the dump cards, so get in Greffer. <laughs> Uh, these are broken. Um, I was playing Connector until like last minute. Uh, Connector didn't push through impermanence like at all, so I thought that was just terrible. Um, these get to Harp. Harp lets you play. Harp's the deck. So yeah, these get to those. And then the weird thing, I played three Destruto. I didn't play Mare Mare. I didn't play anything like that. I just played three Destruto. So I opted not to play Dangers and play these. Um, I guess the bigger thing was it kept, it kept my deck at 40, so I get to like see all my power cards like Twin, Call By, stuff like that. Um, and then also like Destrudo, just like it's always a level four. So if you if you like open like your if you open like if you're able to resolve Mermaid and then get this to Grave, it's the redo replay like just without having to get to Heart. So that's really good. Um, yeah, it's just a really good extender. It's just insane. Um, it's pretty much searchable throughout the whole deck. So I like Destrudo a lot. Um, Spells, just like the staple ones, three call by, three twin, shouts to my Calvinies, uh, <laughs> Rhoda, Foolish Burial. Uh, I think this is probably the most mediocre card in the deck. Uh, I probably wouldn't cut it because it was really good in side decking. Like, it was good, like, post, it was a lot better both side. Um, but yeah, all these cards are really good. Uh, three Insta Fusion. <laughs> if you don't play this card, you're crazy. Uh, this card does everything, it's the best extender, like, by far in the deck. I think the only card that maybe I should have played was maybe Engage, but like, I didn't play Engage. Uh, but this card was just crazy. So like, when you play against, um, when you play against the Nier, it just, uh, one for one's against Crescendo, so that's really good. When you play against Salad, it's like the same thing as they have their own Crescendo. Cause you, and you just like, threaten the wolf. And then it's just one card trading with one card. Um, and like, if you're trading cards in this deck, you're just winning because like, you're playing a deck that requires two cards to combo and they're playing a deck that doesn't require two cards to combo. So yeah, so if you're trading cards, you're pretty much just winning, especially just going second. Um, also going first is just someone's window. So if you know what you're playing, it's just really good. Um, and then this is like the field spell deck essentially. So three light stage, that, that, I'll talk about that, uh, that and that. So these are standard, I think. I think that you have to play three light stage. Like this card is just insane. Um, these are these are standard. I think like I, I've seen people play like two, like three light stage and one tear from. I don't get that. I don't understand. I don't understand. I like searching. I like ha like if you go first and you draw tear for me, you try not to be able have to activate the tear for me in the light stage. So that way you can search Babel at the end, and then you have Crescendo Babel, so that's really good. Um, so these, all right. So, if you guys remember in Goki format, uh, there's this card called Magical Midbreaker Field. This card is that on some serious crack. Way <laughs> worse. Like, um, so, if your hand is like, if your hand's like crazy, you can just throw this card like on the field to like trade it with a negate. So that's good. 
if your hand's not crazy, like if your hand just doesn't play through everything, well, you just play through the cards that negate Mystic Mind. Yeah. And then you Mystic Mind them, and then you wait. So, and then you combo under Mystic Mind, because your deck doesn't put like a ton of monsters on the field. Yeah. So you just like combo through Mystic Mind, and it's just like, it's just dumb. And they have like three monsters on the field, and you're just winning. So when you play against, and it gave you a chance versus decks like Salad that made like Dweller. Because like, I think if you got Dweller, like people just conceded. That was another yeah. thing, this like play through Dweller. I'll explain that later. But, um,. Yeah, if you got Dweller a lot, Orgus Dex just like, oh man, you open nuts. No, I open really nice, and then I Mystic Mind you, and then you lose. And then, yeah, and the mirror as well. It's just so good. Um, and then Set Rotation was another iffy one. Um, the only thing with Set Rotation you have to keep in mind is, like, um, your Rusty, like, has to pop their other field spell, like, every time. Or else you can't, like, if you Set Rotation into mine, um, like, you have to make sure to pop the other field spell, or else you can't, like, babble over this. That's another thing, is you, you can just get babble at any point and play it over, so... Well, that was really good. I outed so many battles with Sarvitation, it was just insane. And then Crescendo, Double Fog Blade, and Brigadine, or whatever. Uh, yeah, I think it's Brigadine. Yeah, it's Brigadine. Um, I think these are stable. I think all these are stable. I'm not 40 really going to talk about that. Um, 40 cards? Yeah, 40 cards on the dot. I didn't want to play more. Um, so yeah. Um, Avery is incorrect. I actually just can't say Avery's that because we finished incorrect. We finished the exact same, so I, I actually just can't say that. Please, Avery. Uh, uh, extra, I guess this is like the most standard part of the deck. Uh, three Galatea, uh, Longrisu, uh, shout out to Aaron for playing two. And, uh, uh, whoa. Wait, where did Aaron finish? Round think, four. Yeah, they both finished round four, I think. <laughs> so, very incorrect. Uh, double Dingrisu. Why am I roasting Aaron? Wait, that's <laughs> that's bro. Nice bro, he's gonna watch this dude. He's like, deuce. Oh, oh no, I'm hitting him in my profile. <laughs> <laughs> uh, double thing, Grease. Oh, God. They're gonna be watching on the way back, like, well. Shit. Uh, <laughs> Rusty. <laughs> uh, type the. Uh, I didn't play Savage. Um, there's like a really nut hand where you can come with Savage and Redo her. But. No. <laughs> Too sacky. <laughs> you have to open like double the, double extender, Destrudo, and a one card combo. And Harp. I think you have to open Harp too. You don't. You have to open one extender. I'm not going to open this. We're not talking about this. Uh, but this card's been Savage in like every scenario. Um, if you don't know why, just play test it. it it's just better. Um, I only played three Nightmares. I didn't play Unicorn. I just asked Alex. He told me to cut that card. It's new. Uh, it just doesn't come up. So, yeah. I played another card, but it also didn't come up. So my extra might have been 14. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I played a, a second institution target. I played Thousand Eyes. Uh, I, th I think I already explained that. You just like Thousand Eyes and you like bait their roar, bait like bait everything, and the wind is crazy. The wind, um, wind is really good. Uh, it's really it has a cool combo with Dingrisu. And then uh, Wolf Sword. <laughs> And then uh, I played Space Insulator. So this card was like five different cards at one point. This card was this card, or it was Beat Cop, or it was Underclock Taker. Um, the reason I chose to play this one, so it was a fourth Galatea. That was kind of what it like, quote unquote was. It was just like a fourth Galatea. It helped you, um, if you got like hand trapped weird and you didn't have Orcus cards, you could still like push into, if you had like a lot of extenders, you can press into Rusty. So I thought that was really good. Um, and what was the other thing? I think that might have been it. Am I, oh, this card, you can link someone to the Jama Trio token. Oh, yeah, because it's pretty generic. Um, just two yeah, monsters. So, and you couldn't do that with Underclock. Um, yeah, you couldn't do that with Underclock. And this had better arrows. So, yeah. For sure. Um, so, that's the extra deck. Uh, but it might as well have been 14 because I didn't go into it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, side deck. Uh, we sided a lot for Thunder. Like, a lot. Because we just, we didn't, like, I don't know. We just did it. Uh, three Lancia, three Droll, and three Electrovirus. So like all, if you draw any one of these cards, we were like pretty sure we just won the game. Yeah. Um, I feel bad for Avery because Avery played like the against the one guy that played Crystal Wing, uh, Shasta Faisal. Burn, 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 burn. But um, <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna talk about this. This, this is the best <laughs> board I broke. Best, all right. This is all right. So uh, my only hand trap was Virus because I got as a thoughted. I played against uh, Crusadia, Buster Blader, Kaiju. Buster Blader. <laughs> Yeah, Crusadia, Buster Blader, Kaiju, Guard Dragon. Yeah, that's what he was playing. That dude was popping off. On he him. was crazy. So his <laughs> opening field was Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend, uh, the Buster Blader Fusion, the Buster Blader Synchro, and uh, Crusadia, Abramax, and Star Angel. That was his opening field. That's his opening. His opening field was nice, right? Um, so I, I'd open Droll, right? But I couldn't activate it because he acid thought in me, too. So it was just crazy, right? But I had Virus. So 
against his board. Oh, and he had Artifact Lancey. Oh. I win this game! So I, I, I Electrify to take his Buster Dragon, some Candy Knight, Hot Reds it. I make Service, Service pop his, pop his um, Hot Red. Um, <laughs> make Mermaid, um, he Lancey's me earlier too. Uh, make Mermaid, make Galtea, Galtea, Dengrisu, Dengrisu target, um, send his Avermax, Avermax, he sends my um, Dengrisu, and I'm like, cool man, oh and then I activate God. Mystic Mind, and I pass, and then he loses. <laughs> so, can't do anything. And that's what I'm saying, you just throw all your cards into your opponent, and they lose when you get Mystic Mind. That's so, so many unwinnable games, you just win because of Mystic Mind. That's but yeah, this card's crazy, so against the real world applications, I guess. Yeah. You know, not my make-believe world that happened round two. Yeah, Buster Blade or make-believe. <laughs> um, so you take... Um, if they don't play Crystal Wing, which most of them don't, you take Hot Red and then you um, you negate their Harbin. If they let that resolve, which yeah. they're just dumb, um, <laughs> you just t um, take Hot Red, negate the Harbinger, and attack the Egg. And it clears three negates with one card. Yeah. Um, but if they don't let it resolve, like if they don't let it resolve properly, it baits two negates. So it's just, it's really good. It's, it's a good card. I like it. It trades. And trading in this deck is very good. So yeah. Um, and then we cited like extra field spells. <laughs> nice. uh, this is an auto winning in Striker and the Mystic Mind deck. Uh, it's basically the same. It's basically like your Mystic Mind versus Striker. Yeah. Um, and then we just cited a second one. Um, we were like going pretty all in with Mystic Mind before, like when we first started theorying the deck. But like we didn't need this to like win every game, and we didn't want to see multiples of it. And there's a lot of other things, but like, and it was mainly side deck space too. But yeah. it just worked out like having like another copy, I guess. So like having five versus four. And then the best card in the side deck. The <laughs> best card, card right best card. here, yeah. bro. So, um, uh, you need a lot of bomb cards in the mirror, because bomb cards are crazy. Um, this card uh, is uh, it's it's MST, it's Foolish Burial, yeah. and it summons a window. So this card does everything, right? And then if you link with it, you just get the fusion back, right? Um, and then also, like, actually, I think that's just it. Like, that's if you, if you don't understand it after that, it's just crazy. Yeah, that card does um, that's also this card is like another reason we didn't like more of this card, like because we felt like our striker match was just not fair. It just wasn't fair. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. I guess shout outs. Uh, shout outs, baby. So shout outs to everyone, in San Antonio. Uh, actually, big shout out to Avery. Uh, me and him, uh, we played like five cards off or six cards off. Uh, we te I think it's the most we play tested in like an event like forever. So yeah, huge shout out to Avery. We, fish we both finished the top 16, so we I guess we can't brag at each other. Yeah. And one of them brag at the other, so that's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> that's so unfortunate. Um, shout out to Alex. Shout out to Aaron. Uh, shout out to Mark Saint Romain. Uh, uh, he got he got mined a lot. So, uh, <laughs> Uh, shouts to Mark, shouts to QB, shouts to Drew, uh, shouts to Zach, shouts to Blake, shouts to TW, um, shouts to everyone in the Valley, shouts to everyone in the SHA who I probably missed. Um, and, oh, shouts to SSD, <laughs> shouts to Jam1 TCG, best sponsors, not kidding, I'm sorry, yeah, that almost happened. And yeah, that's it. No, you got Avery's back, bro. Yeah, I got Avery. Yeah, yeah. alright, man. Congratulations on Top 16, and thanks for taking the bro. Thanks.